Hello, this is Expanded Synthetic Division Part 2. I thought I'd do a longer problem. Remember, in regular synthetic division, you write down all the coefficients down, and then in the pocket, write minus 2. That's because you negate this plus 2 in the divisor, and you carry on synthetic division. Uh, the purpose of showing you how to do this, of course, is to so that you don't have to do that big, long division. It works. I mean, you could do a synthetic division if you have this, if this is an x squared, 2x squared, and then 2x cubed. So what if you had something this large? Will it work? Of course it will. And I'm going to show you that it's possible. Okay, first, again, you write down all the coefficients here. So you have 2, 8, uh, because you have 8 and 7, uh, then you have 6, so minus 2. Now remember, you have an x minus 5 here, but it's multiplied by 0. Anything multiplied by 0 is 0, so it's not written here, but you still have to account for that 0 there. And then you have 4, and uh, of course there's an x cubed here, which is 0, uh, minus 4x squared, and then 6, and minus 2. Uh, remember, Take the degree of the polynomial in the numerator, which is 8, plus 1 is 9. You should have 9 terms here because it goes from x to the 8 to x to the 0, which is 1. So it's not 8 to 1, which are would be 8 numbers, but it's 8 to 0, which is 9 numbers. Uh, next is you want to uh, do a vertical line here. Now, since you have about or since this is to the degree of 5, you want to leave about 5 rows here. Okay, so approximate about 5 rows. And then, uh, however, whatever size this is, you always just only want 2 rows here. Uh, so you put forward slash the first coefficient of the divisor, which is 2. Okay, and then uh, if you recall from the last video, you're going to have a remainder uh, you could draw a vertical uh, dash line to help you know what the remainder is. And to do that, you just take the degree of the divisor, which is 5, and count backwards, uh, or count this way, uh, to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that's going to be your vertical dash line. Now, everything on this side is going to be your divisor. Uh, next, real quick, for and this is just the setup. Next is you want to quickly... Uh, put in the coefficients of the divisor right here, but don't forget to negate them. It's as if you have like x plus 2. If this was all over x plus 2 and just x plus 2, you would negate the 2 and put negative 2 in the pocket. Now you have all of these to um, negate and put in this larger pocket, but you don't have to worry about the, the first term. It's just this term. So, or I mean, it's just this part. But keep in mind, you have x to the 5th plus x to the 4th plus x cubed. So where's the x to the 4th? There's a 0 in front of it, so it's not there. So you put a 0 right here. Now go to the next one, um, degree 3, x cubed. So that's a 2. That's going to be a minus 2. And I would encourage you to do a, 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 like a staircase uh, set up here, make it easier visually. So 3 to 2, so this is minus 2, so you put plus 2 here. Um, x to the first has 0 as a coefficient. So, uh, and then uh, finally have a plus 2, so that's going to be negative 2. Uh, you don't have to do this, but for this video, uh, I'm just going to draw in lines here just to make it clear, because you really have to stay in every row it's very important to do so. So the first thing to do is, of course, drop down this 2. So this 2 goes here, and now you divide that by 2. Now, if this was 3x to the fifth, everything would be divided by 3. And I know that everything's divided, uh, you can factor out a 2, but for simplicity and to make this an easy video with no fractions or decimals, that's why everything's divisible by 2. So you drop down the 2, now you take 2 divided by 2, which is 1. Now, you take 1, 
multiplied to 0, which is 0, and put it, keep all these in the same column. Also, as a hint, all of this is going to be 0, and all of that's going to be 0. So, this 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Make sure that's column wise. So, it's going to be like a staircase or diagonal. Uh, that's why this is easier for me. So, 1 times 2 is going to be in this column. It's going to be 2. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Now, you take 8 plus 0, which is 8. Divide that by 2 is 4. Um, and then take 4 times 0 is 0, 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 0 is 0, and 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Uh, negative 2 plus negative 2 is negative 4, divided by 2 is a negative 2. Negative 2 times 0 is 0, negative 2 uh, times itself, negative 2 is a positive 4, negative 2 times 2 is a negative 4, negative 2 times 0 is a 0, and negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4. And likewise, uh, 2 minus 8 is a minus 6. Divided by 2 is a negative 3. Times 0 is 0. Negative 3 times negative 2 is a positive 6. Negative 3 times 2 is a negative 6. Uh, negative 3 times 0 is 0. And negative 3 times negative 2 is a positive 6. Now, 4 plus 8 plus 4 is the same as well, 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 8 is 16. <clears throat> now I want you to um, visualize something. Have, had we divide by 2 and get an 8 <clears throat> and um, done what we've done, we would have um, 0, negative 16, 16, 0, and then negative 16. Now imagine, there isn't a number right here. This would fall off the cliff if you would think about it that way. There has to be a number here to add so that's why you um, that helps tell you that now you're in the remainder right here so don't divide by 2 and do the whole thing because you'll have something here and it can't be there so it can't be like that so this diagonal should be parallel to these diagonals uh, negative 2 uh, plus negative 4 plus 6 should be 0 uh, perfect. Uh, negative 4 plus negative 8 plus negative 6 is negative 18. Uh, 6 plus 4 is 10. And negative 2 plus 6 is 4. Now, I would encourage, um, this is how I do it uh, uh, personally, is I just fill in all the x's. I don't put the x's where the negative 3 and the 4 is because this is just x to the 0. Anything to the 0 power is 1. 1 times anything is itself, so you don't have to put it there. Now, just go this way. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, so just numerically. Uh, likewise, 1, 2, 3. And that's it. That's basically all that you have to do. And now just put it all together. x cubed plus 4x squared minus 2x minus 3. Plus 16x fourth minus 18x squared, because you do not have to put that 0 there since that entire thing will cancel out, plus 10x plus 4. Divide that by 2x to the fifth plus 2x cubed minus 2x squared plus 2. That's your answer. You could check it. You could go on polynomial, uh, dividing polynomials online. There's calculators over there. Just be very careful on how you input them. I checked it on a few different sites and I assure you this is the right answer. You don't have to do long division, and I hope you enjoy. Uh, thank you, everyone. I'm not going to ask you to like or subscribe. I'm passionately doing these videos from my heart. I'm not calling any of my videos perfect or ideal, relatively speaking. Uh, besides, this is merely a fraction of a fraction of a quarter percent of all the myriad of videos out there concerning the subject, including videos with more easy-to-understand animation. I am simply one voice out of many.